Hi guys, today I'm going to do a video on the very basics of creating a column chart or a bar chart. Okay, so we're going to keep this one really short and I'm going to do a couple follow ups, parts B, C, maybe even D, of showing how this same example can be made more and more complicated. But let's start with the basics and build a good foundation and then we'll move on to more. Uh, complicated and more real-world examples okay so first and foremost we have this little example here where these are our salesmen and this is their sale amount let's say their monthly sales okay now first I'm going to show you a quick way to make a bar uh, chart or a column chart uh, that you would uh, think why did I even need to watch a tutorial for this okay so first just highlight everything with the titles the headers go to insert column chart pick the first clustered column and boom Excel will automatically create 90% of what you need and all you need to go in is change your title perhaps and if you don't want uh, a legend just get rid of it by clicking and deleting um, and then you could tweak some stuff and the tweaking is done here in chart tools you can go over here and you can change anything from the title to the axis titles add a legend take away a legend the data labels the data table if you need one that's a little bit more uh, uh, advanced the axes whether you want to show them or not grid lines and a whole host of other options most of which are lesser used okay but for general purposes, we've created a bar chart in the easiest way possible. But I'm going to backtrack now and build this same bar, uh, the co column chart in the more complex way, taking more steps in other words, but uh, it will serve as a good foundation for videos two and three and maybe four, which will get a little bit more complicated and require us to uh, do it the longer way okay so I'm gonna go ahead and delete this and start anew now without highlighting anything I'm gonna go insert and in the same way choose that same cluster column and by the way all these other kind of column charts 3d column cylinder cone pyramid they're all basically the same thing okay this column right here of column charts is almost the same exact thing the only difference is aesthetics this column is almost the same exact thing except for aesthetics and this column is the same thing except for aesthetics now when you add a third dimension you can actually stack columns in the in the on the z-axis but again this is all aesthetics all you really need to learn is these three guys over here and depending on what you want choose the one you want but typically we're going to choose a clustered column chart okay so I'm gonna click that and this time it gives me absolutely nothing in the chart area it's because I haven't given Excel any of the data it needs to compile the chart okay so I purposely started this way so we can build it from scratch so then I while I'm selected on this chart area I clicked under chart tools design select data now Excel has nothing to work with and in this dialog box right here we're going to give it what it needs okay so here in the legend entries the series entries we're going to click add and here's where the numbers are going to go okay in the series values we're going to select our numbers without the title in the series name we can choose our title okay so again series name was our column header and the series values were the numbers under that column header. Okay, hit OK. Now you see already, if I move this aside, that Excel has started to compile a chart similar to the one we made earlier. We still need to give it some uh, more information for the horizontal axis. Okay, so we've given it the data it needs. Now we just need to give it some names, and that's where the horizontal category axis labels come in. Excel by default will use numbers one two three sequentially uh, if you don't actually give it the names so click edit and instead of one two three four five six we actually want the person's name so fifty thousand the first guy is associated with Lisa 
The second guy is Mike, not number two. So, having clicked the axis labels, I just highlight them without the title and click OK. And you see it automatically compiled them. Okay? So, again, in the series area, we added one series, which was the sales amount. And in the horizontal axis labels area, we added the names that went along with those numbers. Now you could click OK. And voila, we're back to where we were where we did it when we did it the quick way. And now again we can tweak. I don't want a legend for this. It's pretty obvious what this is. I can change the title here and I can go to layout and, and play with a host of options here. Okay? So this was just intended to be a real basic introductory video to creating a column chart and also it actually will serve as a good foundation for creating most other charts in Excel. Now be sure to watch the second part of this video and third part and perhaps I'll make a fourth part which will uh, expound on this and go a little bit into a, deeper into a more complicated example. I'll try to stick with the same uh, idea of the salesman and the sales amount. Okay? Alright, thanks a lot guys. Make sure you comment, subscribe, and uh, have a great day.